वीव हर्ड अबाउट योगीस ऋषीस मुनीस साधूस बट ऑफ लेट वी आर ऑल्सो हियरिंग अ लॉट अबाउट द सिद्धास so uh, how are the siddhas uh, different or unique and who are they this is a very relevant question in today's time where uh, if we look at scientific pursuit in one sense we are expanding uh, to the frontiers of space uh, we are also looking at longevity if we look at modern scientific research uh, there's a lot of focus on longevity how to achieve uh, long life spans even beyond 100 years of age so we can see there's a lot of work happening in that direction and there's a lot of scientific curiosity and momentum in that direction that's why if we look at the uh, siddha system now yoga is very uh, popular people do asana pranayama and all that to maintain their health now when we look at the siddha system the health is also in terms of not just health but longevity and there there are uh, two important concepts one is called atma siddhi and another is called kaya siddhi so when we say siddha it is associated with siddhi siddhi means an attainment so attainment of good health is also uh, you can call it a minor siddhi now everyone is aspiring for that siddhi attainment of happiness many people are aspiring for peace of mind to be happy to live a fulfilled life so that is also you know in that sense an attainment so if we look at deeper attainments so what is it that we wish to attain through all and everything that uh, everyone engages in so that becomes a very deep quest and that's where atma siddhi is in terms of uh, the inner attainment attainment of realization attainment of enlightenment now the siddhas in the siddha tradition it is taken even further to look at uh, attainment where the body does not age or the body does not decay so that's called kaya siddhi so atma siddhi and kaya siddhi and hence in a regular yogic practice not everyone aspires for kaya siddhi but in the siddha system the aspiration itself is like the upanishadic uh, uh, you know shloka asato ma sadgamaya tamaso ma jyotirgamaya mrityur ma amritam gamaya so amrita so to go beyond death to conquer death is a concrete attainment there is also an aspiration and uh, there are many scientific pursuits pursuits of uh, chemistry or what is called alchemical process so many things are uh, Uh, uh you know pursuit all these are within within the pursuit of uh, human capability and that's where the siddha system i think it's uh, uh now that yoga is established automatically you know people are turning to what is called the siddha when we say atma siddhi if we look at the uh, yogic process there is ashtanga yoga and if we carefully follow it there is a uh, yama niyama obviously with that to do with the harmonious coexistence harmonious inner existence asana pranayama and the higher order processes are all related with prana where uh, the mastery over prana is considered very very critical now the prana is looked at from two dimensions one is sthula prana another is sukshma prana so sthula prana is when you know there is a gross breath there is what we uh, you know there is physical movement of the breath and this is connected in turn to sukshma prana which is where it gets exciting because sukshma prana is energy or what can be called nervous energy or even electrical energy so that becomes very critical to tap into so when we uh, activate the sukshma prana when we are able to play with it that is when we uh, you know uh, that is when the yogic process starts rest all are preliminary in nature and that is also related to what is called kriya yoga where uh, you can handle the prana the sukshma prana by itself which with visualization and all that 
and that gradually leads one in terms of dharana dhyana and samadhi because initially what happens our mind is going out it's the function of prana but the prana is flowing out through the mind through the senses and hence all of us depend on sensory engagement otherwise we are bored the mind is bored it does not have fuel no sufficient uh, fuel to engage in so cultivating attention gradually on inner objects that is dharana shakti and for which there has to be a turning inward so that turning inward that flipping inward of attentional processes these are very important steps that's why the initial aspects yama niyama asana pranayama are separated from the inner aspects which include dharana dhyana samadhi now yoga is related to samadhi that's a key definition yoga chitta vritti nirodha tada drashtu swarupe vasthana now samadhi when it is attained then it is not the end that's when there is the further step of immortalizing uh, the deeper aspects uh, come into play and uh, that's why when we say atma siddhi it is to do with samadhi which is again you know to do with regulation of prana which is heightened uh, aspect where uh, processes like kundalini all those uh, come into uh, play but going forward taking that forward in terms of kaya siddhi is the unique contribution of the siddhas where it is not just to do with okay uh, uh, i have attained to a state of samadhi and that's it nothing further not that way not limiting oneself to just that but actually how do we concretely uh, descend from there and immortalize this world in terms of uh, divinity divinizing everything and that's where there would be karpa what is called kaya karpam so karpa is to do with using herbs using uh, uh, uloham metal metallic substances pashanam uh, certain uh, mixtures of substances and uh, the high, highest form is mercury so when these are utilized gradually there is cellular transformation that is affected which is a long process so when we say atma siddhi that is to do with prana but when we say kaya siddhi it is to do with actual cellular transformation and those become very important for further explorations of humanity like uh, even space travel for example if you need to travel into space you need a certain uh, uh, you know capability and that's where kaya siddhi it is like uh, you know working on the system itself uh, the physical system itself to be able to transform it and also be able to project it uh, 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 let's say for example even travel if we uh, do uh, uh, you know if we travel to some place and come back we all feel uh, lethargic we feel uh, down in energy so how to transform the physical substance the nature of the body itself so that it's not impacted by the pancha bhuta so we have looked at a lot of concepts here but these are very exciting and in the light of modern scientific progress the siddha system has a lot to offer